Bienvenidos a lección 3 de Fantastic Spanish. Hi, welcome to Fantastic Spanish Lesson 3. Hoy vamos a aprender el sustantivo y el artículo. Today we are going to learn the Spanish noun and the article. ¿Te quieres venir conmigo? Come with me. Let me tell you before we start that you can download a free PDF document from Resources Fantastic Spanish Facebook page and follow this lesson in writing as well and complete the activities I've created. Lección 3. Lesson 3. El sustantivo y el artículo. The noun and the article. El sustantivo. The noun. Spanish nouns, el sustantivo, are words used to identify or name a person, animal, thing, place or idea. Por ejemplo, the words Mujer, woman Perro, dog Teléfono, phone Edificio, building Amor, love. Just like in English, el sustantivo, the Spanish noun, can either be masculino, masculine, or femenino, feminine. Such as hombre, man, niña, girl. It can also be singular, singular, or plural, plural, such as mesa, table, mesas, tables. Pero, ¿cómo sé si es masculino o femenino? But, how do we know when is a Spanish noun masculino, masculine, or femenino, feminine? Well, In Spanish, even inanimate nouns are classified as masculine or feminine. As a general rule, you can tell whether a noun is masculine or feminine by its ending, but you should know that there are also exceptions to this rule. This is how it works. For example, for masculine nouns, we can mention, among others, the endings O, N, MA, and L. In the words Diccionario, which means dictionary. Camión, which means truck. Clima, which means climate. Pastel, which means cake. For feminine, we have the endings a, cion, sion, and de. In the words Casa, which means house. Ración, which means portion. Explosión, which means explosion. And ciudad, which means city. Does it mean that all the nouns ending in ma are masculine? No, it doesn't. This is the case of the word norma, norm, which is a feminine word. The same happens with the word césped, grass. It ends in de, but is a masculine word. For this reason, I don't recommend to spend so much time memorizing these endings, as most of the times you will see these words in context, which will help you to figure out whether they are masculine or feminine. Y ahora vamos a practicar. Let's practice this a little bit just for fun. I will say a word and right after I say it, you will have to guess whether it's feminine or masculine. ¿Estás preparado? Are you ready? Let's go. So, the first word is Televisión, TV. Femenino, la televisión, the TV. 
Next word is tiempo, time slash weather. Masculino, el tiempo, the time, the weather. Next word is árbol, tree. Masculino, el árbol, the tree. And last word is path, peace. Femenino, la paz, the peace. Well done. I'm sure that you did excellent. And these were some examples. As you have probably noticed, I've mentioned the articles el, la, the in English. So let's learn about these. In Spanish, we have two types of articles. Definidos, definite, el, la, for singular, los, las, for plural, and indefinidos, indefinite, un, una, for singular, unos, unas, for plural. And these can be as well masculinos, masculine, or femeninos, feminine. Genial, pero great, but cuando usamos los artículos, when do we use them? We use the definite article when we are talking about a specific person or thing. Por ejemplo, in the question, ¿Vienes a la fiesta? Are you coming to the party? In this question, the definite article la is singular and feminine. If it happens that we are talking about more than one party, we would use the same article, but in plural. It would be like this. ¿Vienes a las fiestas? Are you coming to the parties? I would answer, sí, por supuesto. Yes, of course. But let's come back to the topic. We use the indefinite article when we are talking about someone or something without specifying which person or thing. Por ejemplo, in the question, ¿Tienes una moneda? Do you have a coin? In this question, the indefinite article una is singular and feminine. If it happens that we are talking about more than one coin, the thing is getting serious here, huh? We would use the same article, but in plural. It would be like this. ¿Tienes unas monedas? Do you have some coins? No lo siento, no tengo. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I would answer. Jeje, <laughs> I'm joking. Y ahora vamos a practicar. Let's practice this a little bit. I'll say a word and right after I say it, you try to guess which article either el, la, los, las goes with. ¿Estás preparado? Are you ready? Let's go. So, the first word is... Amigo, friend. Muy bien, well done. El amigo, the male friend. Next word is... Amiga, friend. Excelente, excellent. La amiga, the female friend. Next word is Amigos, friends. Fantástico, fantastic. Los amigos, the male friends. And the last word is Amigas, friends. Buen trabajo, good job. Las amigas. The female friends. And this is the end of the lesson. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Espero que os haya gustado. Please don't forget to subscribe if you did. And see you soon in Fantastic Spanish. Nos vemos pronto en Fantastic Spanish. Hasta pronto. Adiós.